God of War Secret Ending left every player with unanswered questions. Who is this guy? What does he want? Is he a threat? Nobody knows. What do we know about Thor in God of War? Thor is not seen in the main gameplay of 2018's God of War. Though he does make an appearance in God of War Secret Ending. I had the weirdest dream. Fimble Winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. Atreus has a vision of Thor finding him and Kratos at the end of Fimble Winter. Despite his absence from most of the game, Thor's reputation and the trauma he has caused others is discussed far and wide across the Nine Realms. Thor is the second in command of Aesir, the principal gods of the Norse pantheon, next only to his father Odin. His mother was the giantess Fjörgin, and it is implied that she died in childbirth with an in-game lore marker claiming that, quote, for her gift of life, her life was claimed. Thor had his own sons by different mothers, Magni and Modi, who he sends to find Kratos and Atreus. Thor had long favored Magni, giving him the sole credit for helping lift the giant Hrungnir's body when it fell and pinned Thor to the ground despite both brothers working together to save their father. When Magni is killed by Kratos, Thor severely beats Modi for his cowardice. Though some accounts of Ragnarok have Magni and Modi surviving to take up Thor's hammer, Atreus kills Modi, leaving both brothers dead in the game's story. Thor's famous hammer Mjolnir was created by the Dwarven brothers Brock and Sindri, seen in the last game. Both would come to deeply regret creating the weapon, as Thor's reputation as a bloodthirsty monster reached new heights. After Odin had to flee to Jotunheim, the realm of the giants, for trying to steal their knowledge of the future, he ordered Thor to slaughter every giant in Midgard. The Thunder God met his match, however, when he tried to face down the World Serpent, leading to a stalemate which is prophesied to end with them killing each other during the final battle of Ragnarok. Thor was also never able to hunt down Atreus, Mother of Fey, either, whose ability to delude him infuriated the god. Kratos and Atreus even meet the spirit of disciple of Thor who had the displeasure of meeting the object of his worship. After the death of the spirit's father, the man built a statue to Thor who then appeared to offer condolences. However, the god overstayed his welcome and when asked to leave killed the man's wife in a drunken rage. None of this is too far from the brutal Thor of the Norse mythology. In the myths, Thor murders giants left and right, and binds Loki in the entrails of the trickster's god, own children. In God of War, Thor is framed as the personal executor of a genocide, and easily a monster to rival Ares or Zeus from the original trilogy. Whether or not Thor will fulfill his destiny during Ragnarok, and how many more will be subject to his reign of terror, remains to be seen in the next game. So tell me guys what do you think about Thor in the next God of War sequel? What will his purpose be? Will he be the enemy? Or will he be the ally? We don't know that yet. Let me know in the comments down below and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye bye everyone.